In this video, we're going to introduce the concept of character tables for molecular point groups. Okay, so as promised, here is the condensation of the properties of the various irreducible representations of a group into a single table. This table is called a character table. There is a character table for every point group, and that character table indicates the character of every operator, of every symmetry operator, uh, uh, with respect to each uh, irreducible representation of the group. Okay, so to start off, we're going to say, where the heck do these uh, labels come from for these A's and B's and 1's and 2's and G's and U's, prime, double prime, etc. What do all these things mean? And what do they tell us about what that irreducible representation of this particular point group is? Okay. So to start off, we have labels like A and B, and each of these are called one-dimensional irreps. So irrep again being the abbreviation for irreducible representation. So they're one-dimensional. That means that they're only ever going to have a value of one um, along any of these particular operators. So later on, we'll see two-dimensional or three-dimensional uh, irreps. They can have, they'll have a two or a three with respect to the identity element. But a one-dimensional operator with respect to the identity element <clears throat> will always have a one. And for the rest of the character table, it'll either have a character of one or minus one with respect to any given symmetry operator. Okay, so there's the distinction between A and B is that A is symmetric under rotation of the principal axis. <clears throat> so an A irreducible representation is symmetric with respect to a the, the principal axis Cn. So let's look here. So A1 and A2 of C2V uh, they have a they have a one with respect to C two, so they are symmetric with respect to C two, and A G and A U for the C two H both have a one with respect to C two. Um, so those are <clears throat> those are confirming what I've just said there. And B groups are anti symmetric under rotation of the principal axis. So B1 and B2 here for C2V, under the rotation C2, they are anti-symmetric. They give you a minus one. You return the negative of yourself if you do a C2 rotation for a B1 or B2 irrep. Okay, C2H, if I have BG or BU, I get under C2 minus one as well. Okay, so that's all consistent. So some more points that we want to point out is every point group has a totally symmetric irrep. Okay, so every point group has a totally symmetric irrep inside of the character table. So for C2V, we see this is A1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Every single symmetry operation results in uh, the same object being returned. It has a character of 1, so a character of, of itself for every single symmetry operation in the group. For C2H, that's AG, 1, 1, 1, 1. For the C1 point group, uh, it just has the identity. Everything is A. Everything is symmetric with respect to the identity. And for CS, a planar molecule with no other symmetry, it has E and sigma H. A prime is symmetric with respect to all uh, objects there. So every point group is going to have a totally symmetric irrep in the character table as well. And every point group has a character table. Okay, so next thing to bring up is this subscript 1, 2, etc. So the one is going to indicate symmetry with respect to 
Uh, depends on the particular point group, but it might be sigma v, or it might be C2, which is not, not principal, so not principal axis. So this might be a C2 prime. If your C2 is a principal axis, it might be a C2. If your principal axis is C3, C6, etc. So some other element which is not your principal axis. And then <clears throat> the two as well, just like with B, anti-symmetry with respect to those particular operations. Okay, let's look here. So in the case of C2V, that is the sigma V. So A1 symmetric, A2 anti-symmetric, B1 symmetric, B2 anti-symmetric with respect to the sigma V. Uh, don't have that there. Uh, we don't have ones or twos in any of the other that I've got listed now, but lots of character tables do have ones and twos for subscripts. So that's what those mean. Um, subscript G or U, those things are the same thing that we had discussed for uh, for diatomic molecules earlier in terms of the symmetries of molecular orbitals. It's the actual same exact word. It's gerata, which is symmetric under inversion. So now we just have a much more formal definition of what inversion is. We've seen the uh, inversion symmetry element and the inversion operator in this case for many of these point groups. And U, ungerata, which is the opposite, which is anti-symmetric under inversion. So C2H has an inversion center has four EREPs, AG, BG, AU, and BU. The, these two are gerata, these two are ungerata. So the gerata are symmetric with respect to I, and the U's are ungerata with respect to I. They are anti-symmetric. Okay, um, and they're only gonna have that G and U subscript if your point group has an inversion operator in it. Okay, and then I guess the last thing to discuss is this prime and double prime business, which comes up less often, but still might see. And again, these, uh, sorry, that's a superscript. These these aren't super critical to, to necessarily understand your, your course or your professor may not uh, bring them up at all, but I just want to uh, give you an idea of where these things come from just for your own information in case you're curious or in case it helps really uh, if, it, if I could write superscript that would be fantastic okay superscript all right again yes just mostly for your information uh, so you know where they come from maybe it helps it stick a little bit better in your brain okay prime and double prime um, prime being symmetric with respect to Sigma H double prime being anti-symmetric with respect to sigma H. So the only example I have of that up here is CS, which has E and sigma H in it. Uh, A prime symmetric with respect to sigma H, A double prime anti-symmetric with respect to sigma H. Uh, there may be others that have that as well, but that's much less common than either seeing scub scripts like either seeing A and B uh, one and two, or G and U. Those come up much, much more often. Um, again, if you need the source for these, uh, that comes from the first video in this series where I talk about the websites. Uh, Jacobs University has a nice website that has a, has all molecular uh, point group character tables for every point group of interest in chemistry. Nice to get those from a single location so you don't have to go, uh, <clears throat> so you don't have to go searching around the web to find them. Um, so that's the basics of what these character tables are, what these subscripts mean, and how we, uh, how we uh, collect these EREPs together and show their symmetries under various symmetry operations.